Pokemon sealed market is going crazy. So today we are talking about what has been going on in not only the Sword and Shield era, but Scarlet and Violet. And we'll touch a little bit on Sun and Moon, but mainly Sword and Shield because some of you may have already seen it with booster boxes reaching new highs, Fusion Strike, Lost Origin, Shield and Rain, Evolving Skies. I mean, pretty much most of them are reaching new highs, but I mean, it crazy heights. And things have been going on in the sealed market regarding Scarlet and Violet era as well. I know some of the Scarlet and Violet era stuff is still quite new. But things are still moving and there are some which are very good and we've got to keep an eye on as well. We will take a look at all of them today. So let's get into it. Starting things off, we have Chillin' Rain. I'm going to go right into it. Chillin' Rain, going crazy. $192 right now. It is sold out on the Pokemon Center website over in the US. It's still available over here in the UK. If you haven't picked it up yet, guys, now's the best time if you're over here. But anyway, it is an incredible set. It's doing incredibly well. I mean, I talked about this set before and time and time again. It is so, so good and it is doing very, very well. People are really now appreciate how good Chillin' Rain is compared to all the amazing alt arts in the set. It's a tough set to open, of course, and it's an interesting thing that a lot of the biggest performing sets have tough pull rates or have really tough pulls for the biggest cards um you know we're talking chillum rain with blaziken gengar for fusion strike giratina for lost origin and the moonbrion for evolving skies to be honest they are very rough sets to open but they're doing really well you know and pull rates have a massive part i've said it before pull rates have a massive part in how good a set is you know if you're looking from the sealed our uh, products perspective it, i mean we've seen it time and time again the, you know the sets that have really easy pull rates no one really cares great to open but you know there's no real value there and no real chase down the line to try and get hold of some of these cards there's, there'll be no desire in the future to have or try and open some of these sets so you know that's one thing we've got to look out for when we look at some of the skull and volley which we'll get to in a moment but yeah chill and rain doing very well uh probably 300 a box by the end of the year this is definitely something to look out for. But like I say, right now, if you don't have it in the UK, now is the best time to pick it up. You could pick it up for about one, four, five on the Pokemon Center website. All right, on to Fusion Strike. Again, alongside Chill and Rain, it is doing incredibly well. $230 for this booster box. It's just crazy. You know, it is just crazy. When it was trailing around that 130, 140 uh, a year ago, and now we're looking at 230 a box, I would never would have thought that quickly that Fusion Strike would get to where it is but here we are you know i called it the forgotten set i did a video a couple of years ago saying that this was the forgotten set people didn't really care about it i didn't really care about it and look what happened and this was one thing that i actually talked about and i don't really bring up much but a while back i remember talking that this set would be very very expensive because pokemon didn't reprint it enough because people didn't open it enough you know if people open up the set so much people uh pokemon will look at and they'll be like hang on a minute the demand is really high for this set let's get more product out there people won't open up fusion strike they just weren't people were still opening up evolving skies people were still open up celebrations and everyone was looking forward to brilliant stars fusion strike just got caught in a really awkward release time and you know i think it helped the set in the long run and it's doing very well now gengar is a chase card that everybody wants but nobody can get and you know like chill and rain like evolving skies it's gonna do incredibly well and the pull rates are terrible. This is actually a really, really horrible set to open. But, you know, the artwork in the set is fantastic. The cars in the set are fantastic. It's doing really well, you know. And uh, could it be $300 by the end of the year? Yeah. You can still pick up over here in the UK for around 140 145 on the Pokemon Center website alongside Chill and Rain. Um, get it while you still can because it's pretty cheap over here. All right, on to Scarlet and Violet. I'm going to talk a little bit about how they're evolved. Um, how they're evolved, in my opinion, is one of the strongest main sets. Uh, releases in the Scarlet and Violet era. When I talk to a lot of people, a lot of people like to chase my favorite sets, Paddy Evolved. Obviously, if you take 151 out of it, main set, Paddy Evolved. Pretty much everybody I spoke to is like Paddy Evolved. Some people might be like, yeah, for City and Flames, pretty good. No one says Scarlet and Violet base. I haven't seen a single person since Paradox Rift. Uh, some people actually like Temporal Forces, which we'll get to in a minute, but Paddy Evolved, very common um, W, to be fair, as, 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 you know, as far as people go. Uh, Booster Box is actually the highest. For a while you know over the past six months doing pretty well i wouldn't say it's like super expensive but it's still doing pretty well over a hundred dollars uh chase cards and set magic cards doing incredibly well i own holding very well it's got some real big chase cards in it great set to open you know you get a decent amount of pulls but still pull rates are quite tough product availability this is something which is quite interesting regarding um how they are evolved there are still booster boxes around this set was apparently printed less than other sets and another thing which i've noticed and i don't know if you guys have noticed as well but if you look at a lot of these uh collection boxes and tins that are released so far in the scarlet and violet era pretty much all of them don't include powder evolved i don't know why they just don't 
which seems so weird. I mean, I've seen so many that have like one skull and violet base, two obsidian flames, and three paradox rift or whatever, or two paradox rift. And there's like, where's Paradox evolved? You know, uh, even the Iono milk cards that are coming out don't have Paradox evolved in them. But Lost Origin, okay, but it doesn't have Paradox evolved. Very, very odd. So yeah, that might be a sign as well. We've got to keep a lookout for stuff like this. You know, it is a big sign when you don't see, you know, um, product in, you know, booster packs in supplemental products. So yeah, the fact that everybody loves Pale Evolved and it's not appearing on normal booster packs, aren't appearing in other products, kind of strange. So yeah, this one is going to be an interesting one. Then we're going on to Paradox Rift. This is a, I don't know, I don't know how to rate this one because i like the artwork of the set i love the future and the ancient theme uh but there's a lot of this product around like a hell of a lot uh it's 93 dollars a box it's one of the most cheapest booster boxes going at the moment there's just a lot of paradox rift and as far as from what i've seen and what we've opened people aren't that interested in paradox rift obsidian flames was quite popular Paradox revolt was popular temporal forces has been popular paradox rift no to be honest no and i mean like I, like I say it's super cheap uh you know pull rates are eh, they're okay not great but then on top of that it doesn't really have anything that everybody wants i mean you've got the roaring moon and the iron valium which are absolutely fantastic but apart from that i can't really think of much else from this set that i really want to get hold of if i'm being honest uh, i think the crowd on might be in this set uh but apart from that i really care about paradox rift it's kind of weird um you know this set came out i think this is like is this the equivalent i think this is equivalent of like vivid voltage if you had to compare like the, the release window from sword and shield cool i just don't we'll have to see how this set does but i just think it might be one of the bottom tier sets moving forward in skull and violet okay on to temporal forces now i actually think temporal forces is a good set now pull rates are tough we can't deny that it is the toughest in the skull and violet era it is what it is right it is super super difficult uh, to get any of these top pulls and i've mentioned like earlier in the video i mentioned about the pull rates in sword and shield the best sets seem to be the sets that are tough to get the pulls in this is one of those sets there is apparently less printed or less availability of this set compared to other skull and violet era ones due to allocations uh, that may be the case there's something else we've got to consider um but i still think it's based on pull rates i still think that this set is a good set Got some fantastic special illustration rares great illustration rares as well a couple of like fan favorites as you were you know from the legendary beasts it's a brilliant set i think in my opinion i would say this is i've been comparing this to like the chill and rain of this era mainly because it's got like a ton of good special illustration rares that people do want and do look good um and it has the tough pull rates It'd be interesting you know 103 dollars a box is slightly going down it is quite new um but i do think temporal forces as a potential um you know bit of a perfect storm there with top pull rates and less of it around would help this set in the long run it'll be really interesting to see how it goes but we've got to keep an eye on it all right let's talk about lost origin lost origin's doing incredibly well right now uh, over here in the uk this set is just doing craziness it's like 200 pound a box which is crazy i looked at picking some up uh i picked some up actually like three four weeks ago 130 pounds now it's 200 it's all on the pokemon center website it's crazy we're going to see the same, like I say, with Chilling Rain and Fusion Strike, but Lost Origin already doing bits. It's now climbing over in the US as well. I talked about this set, uh, Chilling Rain and Fusion Strike, as being like the ones to look out for a few months ago, and it really is the case now. It just is. This is one that I wouldn't ex I wouldn't be surprised if this goes the same way as Fusion Strike and Chilling Rain, reaching nearly $300 a box. Uh, top, top three set, in my opinion, in the Sword and Shield era. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I love the set. Giratina is the big chase card again doesn't have the best pull rates extremely tough card to pull perfect storm so yeah this is going to be another one we've got to keep an eye on it's going to keep climbing month by month already in the past month it's gone up by 30 dollars i expect it to go up even more uh as the year goes on all right we're gonna have a quick little chat about team up of course team up is still ridiculously expensive at over two thousand dollars a booster box but it hasn't really climbed much since that big boomer happened uh at the end of last year you know in 2023 we go back six months and we can see it has climbed uh by about 200 dollars give or take which is actually pretty good over the last six months but this year alone uh from january it's gone up by about 70 dollars 50 70 dollars which sounds like a lot but for a booster box that's 2000 already not a huge amount but it is climbing as you can see over the past year it just did a massive boom that basically doubled in value 
over the past 12 months, which is incredible. Did incredibly well last year. But yeah, team up still ridiculously expensive. It'd be interesting to see if it kind of just levels out um, and just lingers around that between 2k and maybe I mean, could it be two and a half k by the end of the year potentially. But um, I don't see it going up by a thousand like it did or at least doubling like it did in the past 12 months i kind of feel like it might sell just a little bit but still really expensive if you want to try and get one of these over here in the uk good luck <laughs> um it's very difficult but yeah uh it's just doing incredible i'm going to have a quick little look at xy evolutions as well this is a set which uh, has been bouncing around for ages uh we go back over the past year and it's actually the highest it's been pretty much on the year which is actually pretty impressive over 800 dollars uh, over here in the UK, this does sell anywhere between 700 to 800 pounds. It really does depend. I mean, we did do a box break recently of this on the channel. It was fantastic. We managed to pull the Reverse Hollow and the Hollow Charizard. It was an incredible box. I had it in my collection for like two years and we cracked it open and it was just great fun. It really, really was great fun. I would love to buy uh, an XY Evolutions Booster Box and add it into my collection. It hasn't really gone up much compared to when I bought it. So I'm not too bothered. Um... You know, when I picked up, it was like £700. So it really hasn't changed that much in the last two years. So I'm, I'm more than happy to pick one back up again. Uh, but it was great fun, and I would love to do it again as well. But this is still a great set. Uh, you know, trying to get back to the highs it was during the pandemic at 1,000. Uh, it will get there eventually, but it is a slow burner. But it's it's still climbing, which is actually pretty good. And finally, we will talk about Evolving Skies. We can't forget it. It is the top dog right now. $685 a booster box. <laughs> So, uh, over the past three months, it went from 430 to six. Oh, baby. Uh, it doubled in value, more than doubled in value in three months. So, over here in the UK, this is about £600 a booster box, which is crazy. Uh, if you could afford to buy one, buy one. If you can't afford to buy one, it is what it is. There's other potentials if you want to look at it from an investment standpoint. You know, Chill and Rain, Lost Origin, Fusion Strike, and some of the other trainer gallery sets. But yeah, this is pretty intense will it see any higher heights yeah I, i've said before and i've said a few times i think it'd be a thousand dollars a box um it is just insane uh i mean i sold some last year for over, just over 400 each uh which i was pretty happy with i needed the money but um yeah i mean i still have some in my collection not as many as i had had before but it is the way it goes uh and look you know if you want to get the cards just buy the cards do not open this set whatever you do uh, at least don't open a booster box you can still get evolving skies packs or retail in other products charizard upc is a prime example and there are some tins and collection boxes that are still available that do have evolving skies in them which i'll be doing in an upcoming video but there is a ton of great stuff uh to open up evolving skies that you're not paying the price because the price like over here i worked out the other day if you were to crack open evolving skies booster box that's 16 pound a pack over 16 pound a pack nearly 17 pound a pack just don't do it just just don't um so yeah this is a great set to keep sealed if you don't have one if you do have the money get it if not that's fine there are other sets available which are very very good for good returns for the future so keep an eye out but i do feel like this will reach a thousand uh maybe by the end of the year maybe 800 who knows so there you have it guys that's what's been going on a little snapshot of what's been going on in the sealed market so overall takeaways sword and shield is going absolutely crazy sun and moon i mean we looked at team up and really doing much uh, xy isn't really doing much sword and shield is going crazy skull and violet paladin evolved and temporal forces i think are two sets you've got to keep an eye on as they're good sets good fan favorite sets Obsidian flames kind of weak that's why we didn't look at it same with the skull and violet base um but yeah i think lost origin fusion strike chill and rain they're the ones you'll look out for warm skies are going crazy so you kind of want to ignore that uh, other sets we didn't really cover today, but we'll be covering them in an upcoming video. Astral Radiance, Brilliant Stars, Silver Tempest, uh, and Battle Stars. All very good sets. All, uh, all arts that you want to keep an eye on um, down the line. Because those sets are going to be really, really good. But if you made this far into the video, guys, and you've enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button. And make sure you subscribe for more Pokemon content. And let me know your thoughts down in the comments of what's been going on in the sealed market. You think it's crazy? I think it's kind of crazy. It's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments of your thoughts. But if you want to know what's been going on in the single cards market, then make sure to click the video on screen right now. And if you want to watch more Pokemon content, guys, you know what to do. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, that is it from me in today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, you guys are legends, and I'll see you all in the next one.